Hi guys, this is Mike Bellinger with Commit to Fit for Life. Welcome. Today we're going to talk about a workout for busy moms. I get a lot of requests from moms. How do I fit in a, a workout schedule with my busy schedule? Well, today we've done that. We've put a 20-minute workout together for all the busy moms. So what I want you to do is go get a piece of paper, grab a pen, and come back and we'll have a work, your workout ready for you. So come back and join us. All right guys, welcome back. Hopefully you have your pen and paper ready. We have a 20 minute workout for busy moms today. We both have, we have a, a workout for both in the gym or in your home with weights. And we have the workout for if you're at home with no weights at all and you just wanna do body control movements, okay? So we have both styles of workouts with weights and without weights, whether you're in a gym or not, okay? And today I have Diane helping me today and she's gonna help us with this uh, 20 minute workout. She's a busy mom herself and she's gonna help us out here. Um, you're gonna need some equipment in the gym and what I would really recommend is having some equipment already laid out. Diane has already got some equipment that she's gonna be using here. Two pairs of dumbbells, a light pair and a heavy pair, a medium weight to lightweight uh, barbell, a mat, uh, we have an adjustable bench here, and then a, a box or a step up uh, device that you may have. This is basically a, a plyo box that she's using here that she's gonna use in one of her 10 movements, okay? So we're gonna start with a, um, a front barbell, or front dumbbell lunge. So we're gonna start, she's gonna grab her dumbbells here. And actually this is a front squat with the dumbbell. So with the uh, dumbbells here, she's gonna have her palms facing uh, her chest and she's gonna go right into a squat here. So some key things to do with this on the squat, Diane. She's going right into the squat now. Her heels are down. Her feet are a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. That's going to be for stability. Um, she's also sitting as if she's sitting in a chair. Okay, what this is going to do is going to give stability to the lower part of her, her torso area. Um, the muscles that are engaged here, the muscles of the legs. His legs are the biggest muscles in the body. So we're working all of the legs muscles, plus her core is very stable here. So she's working a little bit of the core as she drives through the legs. We're gonna do 12 to 15 reps per exercise. And um, at that point, we'll, we'll stop and we'll transition to the next movement. Okay, that's good, Diane. All right, so we're gonna transition. She's gonna put her weights down. Uh, we're gonna stay with the legs, guys, as we go into a barbell movement here. She's got a medium to lightweight barbell. All right, guys, so Diane just finished her first uh, exercise, which was the front squat. And remember, the legs are the biggest muscles in the body. We definitely want to work those to keep them toned and in shape. Also, by having the biggest muscles in the body activated like that, it's going to really rev your metabolism up um, to make sure that, that the fuel that you bring in it starts to burn rapidly so that we don't store the fat. We use the fuel as opposed to storing the fat. Okay, so we really always want to make sure and get some leg exercises in there. Okay, and actually we're gonna go with another uh, leg exercise here. She's gonna use a barbell here. And she's going into a barbell alternating lunge. So here we go guys, we're going into the second move. This is a barbell alternating lunge. She has her barbell ready. This is a light barbell, this isn't really heavy. But she's going into an alternating lunge. Now some key things about the lunge, what I want you to remember is to step out far enough to where when you step out, that knee and ankle have a pretty good alignment and never let that knee pass over the edge of your toe, okay? So as she's going into this alternating lunge, again, we're gonna do 12 to 15 reps of these movements, okay? On the way down, she's inhaling on the way up, she's exhaling as she presses back. Remember, you wanna exhale during your exertion of your move. So here, she's gonna exhale on the way back, inhale going in, exhale on the way back. Good, and she's gonna do 12 to 15 of those on each leg. Okay, again, our goal is to finish this workout within 20 minutes, all right? We're putting all the leg exercises together and then all the upper body and then core leg, or core items together, okay? All right, Diane, that's very good. We're gonna do one more leg exercise here. All right, guys, we're transitioning to our third leg movement here. Diane has already has her step lined up here. She's gonna be doing a isolation step up with one leg with a light barbell. Okay, go ahead, Diane. Stepping through. She's gonna isolate, guys, just one leg. As she comes back, she's making sure her core stays stable. 
and stepping through. She's bringing the other leg through with the knee raise, okay? So we have a number of things going on. She's working through the gluteus maximus area there. She's also working the quadricep. She's also working the core. By having the additional resistance here, it's gonna put an additional resistance in the, all of those three areas, okay? Good, way to keep the abs tight, nice Diane. Then we'll change to the other side. She did uh, 12 to 15 reps on one side, and then she'll do 12 to 15 reps on the other side. Again, guys, all of these are geared towards busy moms and getting your 20 minute workout in within a, a reasonable amount of time. Nice Diane, good job. Way to exhale through it, very good. Nice, all the way up. Good, finish your reps there. Good, okay. And we're transitioning to our next move here. All right guys, we just finished the leg work and we're going right into the back work now. So what she's gonna do is go ahead and use a barbell again. This is a barbell bent over row. Okay, she's also gonna incorporate a little bit of legs with this because she's gonna kinda of squat into that movement as she comes out of it into a row. So the legs are kind of having a little bit of, of work here, but she's going to squat and then pull it right into there. Good. Nice. Good. Notice she's pulling right just barely above the belly button area as she's going all the way through. Now again, on the weight here, this is a relatively light weight. That's a 12 pound barbell. You can go up to maybe 20 to 30 pounds on a barbell, but the whole idea is she's working the back area and pulling through. Notice how she's exhaling as she's pulling through. She's adding a little squat with the legs, which is going to incorporate a little bit more uh, muscle engagement for the total body. Good, Diane, let's go five more here. Five, good, four, three, two, and one. Good, time, nice, go ahead and Put that down again, guys. We had all of our equipment kind of lined up before we started so that the transitions are going to be pretty smooth. She's going to now use this adjustable bench, put it in a small incline so that we're going to hit the rear delt. She's going to do a, bar, a dumbbell rear delt pull. And I'm purposely letting Diane show you how easy it is to go in these transitions, guys, from one to the other. As long as you have your equipment ready, it's going to be pretty easy to go from one to the other. And I would let that down just a little bit. Down. I'm going to adjust this down just a little bit for you. Here, about there. Okay, two ways you can do this, guys. If, you're, if you feel pretty comfortable and you have light weight, she could have her knees on the, on the bench here. If you have a little bit more, um, a little heavier weight and you want a little bit more stability, she's just going to straddle the, the bench here as she puts her torso here. This is for ultimate stability for the torso. She's gonna come back and do a rear delt fly. And the whole area here, we're working the posterior deltoid into the rhomboid and this whole subscapula area here. Okay, so um, we're working that whole back area. Again, the back houses a lot of muscle that sometimes we don't recruit enough of. So here we're coming through, recruiting those um, muscles of the back and the rear deltoid, rear shoulder area, okay? 12 to 15 reps there. We're gonna have a balanced workout when this is all said and done with the total body workout. Okay, we'll do a few more reps there, Diane. Okay, good, making that transition. And let's go ahead and grab some light dumbbells as we go into a seated, barbell, seated bicep curl. I'm gonna adjust the bench for you here all the way up. Again, guys, we're in a gym setting, so this will be if you're in the gym and you want to get a 20-minute workout done, she's going to go into a bicep curl seated. What I like about the seated position of a bicep curl, it takes the whole um, lower body out of the movement. She has to stabilize through the core and making sure that her um, range of motion is full range of motion with this, uh, with this seated position. Okay? So the tendency sometimes in a standing position, especially when we get heavier on the weights, is we throw that lower body into it. So here, we take the legs out of the equation, make the course very, very stable, and then really have that full range of motion, uh, full range of motion through the upper body to get that, um, that full bicep curl engagement there. So here, what I would have you do on that first set is that's good with doubles, and then she's gonna go the second set, let's go alternating singles. So she'll so go up and up, good. 
Okay, so that's the alternating single, kind of a top off to that move. Again, depending on how heavy that weight is, it might be a little bit slower if that weight is a little bit heavier. But here she's doing alternating singles uh, for the bicep area. Okay, very good, Diane. That's great. We're going to go into transition here again with our 20-minute workout. Okay, the dumbbells go down there. Okay, so we worked um, the bicep. Now we're going to go into the chest area for uh, push-ups. So we're going to get our mat that we already have available here. And we're going to go right into push-ups. Right here. Okay, two ways we can do these push-ups. Diane is strong enough to where she's going to think about uh, coming all the way down, all the way back up. Her core is engaged here, guys. Her navel is drawn in tight and engaging that core. Okay, she's coming down as far as she feels comfortable that she can come back up. Generally, you want to go about halfway or a little bit more than half if you can. She's breathing in on the way down, exhaling on the way back up. Okay, that breathing is vital and important with your workout. Okay, let's go five more here, Diane, at five. All of these are gonna be six to 12 reps, guys, as far as your total uh, repetitions and then two sets, okay? Take a small break there, Diane. Then we'll do another set, good. I, to, uh, I want you to show them how we can do a modification by putting the knees down. So this second set, guys, if, if here's my, what might happen, you might get a little fatigued, but we still wanna get the movement. So we're now gonna modify by putting the knees down. And now she's gonna do another 12 to 15 repetitions uh, for the chest and the push-ups. Okay, same principle though, having her hands underneath her shoulders, um, inhaling on the way down, exhaling on the way back up. All right, always good form. Never compromise weight or positioning for good form. Okay, always good form. Okay, nice job, Diane. Very good. Okay, guys, staying with the um, chest and tricep area, we're gonna go to a tricep overhead extension. We're gonna put this bench back down flat. She's gonna grab a pretty um, um, significant, well, it's pretty light, actually, a pair of dumbbells. She's gonna have a seat here. This is gonna be a double overhead tricep extension. Again, the core is engaged. And going from here, she's gonna get a nice full range of motion. Come down a little bit further there, Diane. Nice, and all the way up. Good, yes, just like that. So now, whenever we work chest, we're also working the tricep generally. So now we're gonna to top off that tricep with the isolation of that tricep with the overhead extension and working the triceps there, okay? Nice job. Okay, take a small break and then we'll do another set of those. Okay, here we go. Good, three. Good, keeping that breathing nice. Full range of motion, four, here's five. Right now, she's definitely feeling these triceps, six. On that second set, seven. Here's eight. We'll go 12, nice, Diane. There's nine and 10. At 11, here's 12 right here, guys. Very nice, good, Diane. Okay, we're gonna go right into the shoulders now. Okay, so we're gonna go into lateral raises. So you're gonna be here and just come on all the way up, good. So on the lateral raise, what I want you to think about is having those arms slightly bent coming out, no higher than the shoulder height, so she's gonna end up right about here, boom, yes. Exhaling on the way up, inhaling on the way down. All right, very good. Nice. Go to 12 of those. Very nice, Diane. Good, let's do a few more of those. Hitting that medial deltoid is the primary goal here is to hitting the outside of that shoulder. She's hitting a little bit of the uh, posterior delt with this, a little bit of the anterior delt, but primarily the medial delt is, is the key. All right, that's good for your first set. And then we'll take a break and we'll do another set of those. Okay, and then we're almost finished with the workout. Okay, one more set. Nice, four, good, five, nice. Way to focus, way to exhale on the way up, six. You can see the shoulders working here, seven, and eight. Again, guys, a 20-minute concise workout, um, including all the body parts and major muscle groups here. Here's 10, last two, at 11, 
Good, here it is at 12, nice. Very nice. Small break there, you can go ahead and take the shoe, uh, put the dumbbells down for a second. Stretch out those arms for a second because now we're going into a shoulder press move. So she's gonna go right overhead with the shoulder press. And that'd be her 10th move right there. All right, so let's go ahead with the same dumbbells. This time I want her feet about shoulder width apart. Her toes just slightly outward here. Her core is engaged now. Her abs are drawn in tight, okay? So we're gonna go with the shoulder press here, all the way overhead, so nice, good. And two, notice the exhale on the way up. Exhale, always on the exertion. Four right there, nice. All the way up, here's five, yes. At six, we're going to 12 of these, seven. Eight. At nine, here's 10 here, 10. Last two, 11, here's 12. Nice, small break, and we'll do a last set here. And guys, we're going into a little cool down after that. And here we go. One. Two. Three. Four. At five. Six. Seven, we'll go to 12 of these. Here's eight. Good, at nine. Nice, Diane. Here's 10 here, all the way up. Last two. At 11. Yes, and here it is at 12. All right, okay guys, that's 10 movements, total body. And uh, then we're gonna go into a small cool down here. All right, she has her mat already here. We're gonna go into, um, right here, she's gonna go into a child, what's called a child's pose. She's gonna go all the way back, stretch all the way back. Nice. And then she's gonna go into a cat stretch here. The, the abs are fully engaged, the core is fully engaged, so she goes into a kind of a uh, flat back here and relaxing. And I'd like you to do that whole series one more time, all the way back into your, your child's pose. And then cat stretch. And a flat back, good. All right, and that's it. Good job, Diane. Guys, that completes your 20 minute workout. We did a warm up, we did a workout uh, of 10 exercises with weights, with the bench, and different apparatus here. And then we did a cool down for busy moms. This is your key. This is a very good exercise uh, routine for you when you're busy, when you have a lot of things going on. You, you really juggle a lot of things as a busy mom. We understand that. So here's an exercise routine that's going to give you. Uh, a very concise and complete workout within 20 minutes. Okay, thanks for joining us guys and stay tuned, we have more to come. Thanks for watching. My goal at Commit to Fit for Life is to provide you with the best possible information related to fitness and helping you reach your ultimate fitness level. If there's anything specific about fitness or any training programs you'd like to see more of, please leave me a comment below and let me know. I would also love to hear about your goals and your fitness journey. The Commit to Fit for Life team will always be here to help you every step of the way. If you liked the video, please share it with your friends and family and stay up to date with all of my latest training videos. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel through the button below. There are plenty of new videos to come in the upcoming weeks. Thanks again for watching and I look forward to seeing you soon.